Hallelujah to Jesus. Somebody lift up your voice and give him praise this beautiful morning. Give him praise. The Bible says in Psalm 150, let everything that has bread praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what you need to have to praise him. That is what you need to have to praise him. Let everything that has bread. And for the fact that you are hearing me this morning, it shows you have bread. So why not lift up your voice and praise him? Lift up your voice and give him praise. Lift up your voice and thank him. Show him, show him gratitude. Show him adoration. Give unto him appreciation. And as you do so, I see God blessing you today in the name of Jesus. Now we are still talking about the prophetic word and prophetic prophetic blessing of the seventh month. In Genesis chapter 2 verse 2, we are made to understand that God ended his work on the seventh day and rested on the seventh day. So we are made, and in Genesis chapter 8 verse 4, he said the ark rested in the seventh month. So which means one of the prophetic blessings for this month is rest, 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 rest. And hear what God is telling us prophetically from the word from from the word of God. Second Samuel chapter seven verse one. Hear what God is telling us prophetically from His word. In Second Samuel chapter seven verse one, He said, "It came to pass when the king sat in his house, and the Lord has given him rest round about from all his enemies." Now. From this place I've read, there are some prayer points I want us to pray about, you know, in association with rest. In this place, there are some prayer points, about three or four or thereby, that I want us to pray about in association with rest. Now, if you go to that place, he said, and it came to pass, when the king sat in his house, and the Lord has given him rest roundabout from all his enemies. So number one prayer point I want us to pray in this place is rest roundabout, that God should give us rest roundabout that God should give us rest roundabout. Now listen to me. For the Bible to say it, it means it is possible. Rest roundabout is possible. It's possible, it's achievable. Now when we talk about rest roundabout, what are we talking about? We are talking about rest that covers all areas of your life. We are talking about a situation whereby you, you, you have rest in every areas of your life. Now we have seen people, it, it means, now this is what it means. It means as you have rest in your finance, you have rest in your, on, in your health, you have rest concerning your job, you have rest concerning your business, because we have seen cases whereby some people will have rest in their finance, they will lack it in area of their head. That is not what this place is talking about. Some people will have rest concerning their health. They will lack it in area of their family life. Their children will be stubborn. The children will be giving them sorrow. But this place is talking about rest roundabout, which means it is possible. I pray for you today as your amen thunder where you are. May God give you rest roundabout in the name of Jesus. There is somebody listening to me. In this morning, there is somebody listening to me this morning around the world. Um, I am saying to you that area of your life where the rest is being where you are lacking rest, may God give it to you in the name of Jesus. And if you look at the testimony of Solomon in First King chapter 5, verse 4, First King chapter 5, verse 4, you will you will discover that it is possible. Look at what Solomon said. Solomon said, But now the Lord my God has given me rest of on every side, on every side, so that there is neither adversity nor evil occurring. That 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 was the testimony of Solomon. He said, God has given me rest on every side. I pray for you today. May God give you rest roundabout. In your finance, receive rest. In your health, receive rest. Concerning your family life, receive rest. Concerning your business, receive rest. Concerning your job, receive rest. That project you are doing, receive rest. 
rest. Your immigration status receive rest. Concerning your visa application, receive rest. Concerning your marital settlement, receive rest. Receive all and rest in the name of Jesus. This is what we are using to pray. And you pray with that scripture. You pray with that scripture. You pray with that scripture. Second Samuel chapter 7, 1 to 3. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. If you are not born again, pray this prayer of you. Lord Jesus, come to my heart. Be my Lord, be my Savior. With my mouth, I, be, I confess. And with my heart, I believe that you are the Lord. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. Please, help us to share this message. Let it go viral. Don't keep it to yourself. And be faithful to our Bible reading. We must read the Bible through. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you. Today will be a great day in your life. See you tomorrow by the grace.